I have here a uh, Tachibana Sakon Kana Blade. This is a uh, Togo Regio Steel, laminated to soft um, Otetsu. And I have the blade held in a sharp skate, a modified one, so that the bevel, I'm creating a, a steeper angle bevel, and you can see um, there's some dull uh, uh, iron out here, but um, it's getting brighter along, along the edge here, so that's what I want to photograph. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, diagonally, I'm going to create diagonal scratches on the blade from this king, and I'm going to create a, a 1000 grit bevel scratch pattern. It, it really doesn't take that many strokes, but okay. So um, that was about 20 strokes. Let me rinse off the blade there. And I'm going to go over to my microscope and we'll view. Uh, I have a vintage Reichert uh, research type microscope. Uh, I have a little setup here. I had to modify my platform here. Okay, so I've got the kind of blade in my lens, and I have my computer here. So we're going to be viewing the the uh, edge of the kind of blade at eight hundred power. Um, there, come. Okay, let me back up just a little bit. Okay, so now uh, I have to adjust the gross um, focusing. Okay, so that is what a uh, scratch pattern looks like from a uh, 800 grit king, and you can see the diagonal striations. So my next idea, or my next quest, is to remove those scratches, and when I'm going to go to the natural stone, I'm going to use straight on or, or uh, diagonal, or 90 degree scratches. Uh, uh, from the natural stone. So I'll take the blade back over here. Okay, so um, take the king out of the way here, and I have this giant Suita stone. Um, and we're, we're just going to put clear water. There's no slurry. I rinse off the blade a little bit again. Okay, so the idea is to I'm going to do 20 strokes with uh, on this stone, and I'm going to do straight on. So they'll be uh, different from the diagonal strokes from the king. And I'm going to move the blade to the edge here so that I'm actually affecting the, the center part where the micro microscope is going to be seeing it. So I'm going to do 20 strokes here. Okay, so that's 20 strokes with just clear water, no uh, slurry. Dry that off. Already I can see uh, a contrast in the polish on the hard steel and the soft iron. You can see it there. Okay, so um, we're going to go over to the microscope here again. Put the blade set in there and <clears throat> we're going to move the blade into position here okay so now uh, gross focusing okay so you can see there are some deep uh, 1k scratches that we have not been able to remove. Remember this is at 800 power so my depth of field is microns deep here. I, if I back out the focus you can see how isolated those uh, those diagonal strokes are because the rest of the blades become more polished. You can see some uh, uh, straight on scratches there. 
that are more similar to what natural stones produce short scratches rather than the long scratches from synthetic stones. Okay, so we're going to back the blade set out of here. Go back over to the stone and with just clear water I'm going to do another set of 20 and we'll see how Okay, so there again, I was working just in the center part of the of the blade, and and dry that off. We'll go over to. You can see already how the center part of the blade has changed in its sheen. Okay, anyhow, the real proof is in the microscope here. So we go back. Uh, Set that in place. Um, push. Okay, I went past our field of view here a little bit. Back up. Okay, there's the edge. Forward just a little bit. Okay, so here is our blade again. I go in and out of focus. You can see how those diagonal scratches are are getting shallower now, and the blade has taken on a brighter look, more even. The edge is not refined. Uh, you know, that's a matter, it takes some time to actually sharpen the edge. I'm just looking at the surface here, how much metal is being removed by that Suita stone. Okay, so we have 20 plus 20 strokes, so we have 40 strokes total with the Suita. 40 strokes. Uh, I'm going to go back and do one more set of 20, and then we'll go and... Uh, I'm, and we'll do uh, some with slurry. I'll do that as another video. So, but we'll do 20 more with this clear water, and just to see how that works out. And I'll okay. Okay, so um, let me dry that blade off. Okay, back to the microscope. And push the blade into position. Okay, there's our Kana blade. Um, the diagonal strokes are almost gone now. Uh, there's the typical Japanese natural scratch pattern, uh, shorter scratches. And the blade in general is brightening up quite a bit because in between the scratches there's quite a lot of surface area that's been um, polished and flattened. Clear water will polish the blade more. Uh, slurry tends to leave a matte type of matte type finish. Okay, I'm going to conclude this video. I'm going to repeat some of these steps, but I'm going to be using slurry on the same Suita stone.